first of all, I'm going to be changing up the formats of some of the videos in order to make the production time a lot shorter. Due to my life being pretty crazy right now with finishing my masters, preparing for my PhD proposal, general research study and writing the sequel for my first novel Old Eyes, check out the link below for a free copy. In this video, we'll be talking about the importance of finding other writers to share your work with. Critique partners, as these are known, or just a friend to read through your work and give you honest feedback can help you an absolute ton. However, finding one can be difficult due to how vastly overpopulated social media is with writers and storytellers looking for help. To get through this swarm of background creativity, search for individuals with similar voices to your own, or someone who likes to explore similar themes in their work, even if it's in a different genre. For example, I found my critique partner, the wonderful Nyon Smith, on Twitter randomly after a discussion on a public board discussing a range of opinions. And the most important thing is, he was a relative stranger at first, and now a good friend and someone I trust to give me valuable feedback. Finding someone who is a stranger to you benefits you in multiple ways. It forces you out of your comfort zone. It gets you used to the fact that strangers will read your work all of the time. And it breaks that mentality that other writers are out there to steal your work, a quality that most newbie writers share. And this is because being out of your comfort zone is conducive to boosting your creativity, as well as making you more professional and mature in your communication, rather than just talking with friends. New agents will be strangers all of the time. New readers will be strangers. Everyone will have an opinion, so getting past the fear of other others reading your work is important, and that's what you want, right? You want other people to read your work. And other writers are not trying to steal your work. They're not competing with you at all. Don't be timid about this, as this is the industry itself. And when, not if, you find a critique partner, I recommend you to approach the process something like this. You trade your manuscripts, whether it's a draft or not. Draft is great because you can see the major problems early. Agree upon a schedule of sorts, such as every couple of days to read a chapter of each other's, and then contact each other. Even better, create a document of some kind, a questionnaire, a survey, to fill in just after you've finished reading the chapter. Then, when you have time, talk to each other afterwards on Skype, Discord, Twitter, or whatever's more convenient for you. Discuss with each other the questions in the questionnaire, the survey, the document that you give each other, and other general comments and questions. Advantages, disadvantages, likes, dislikes, and the most important thing, say why. That's very important to developing your process as a writer. Then, repeat the process until you've finished reading each other's work and at the end talk about the book as a whole it's that simple just don't be timid I'll include an example of a questionnaire that I used to download below to give you a flavor of what the kind of questions you could ask each other and let me know what you think of this new style of podcast video because it's something I'm experimenting with and again like I said in the beginning I'm trying to cut down production times so I can produce more content even though that I'm crazily busy and please hit that like button if you like the video subscribe for more advice and storytelling based content and remember to hit the alarm bell icon to be reminded when a new video is released so you don't miss out. Also if you like crime or mystery thrillers with supernatural horror and Lovecraftian elements check out the link below for a free copy of my first book Old Eyes and I'll see you in the next podcast.